So this is our last, almost our very last little stretch of river, isn't it now? For a, well, for a long while if we've got anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all rivered out. And we're coming up to Anchor Pit Lock, which is our last lock. And our last stretch of river, our last flood lock. We've got a crew of two ahead. A reception committee. Reception committee, that's uh, Steph and Paul from Narrowboat Hang Loose. And they're opening the locks for us ahead so we uh, can stay on board. They've done all the hard work. Fantastic. So looking forward to seeing them. We haven't seen them since Stone in July, yeah. something like that. I think there might be a beer or two involved later today to thank them. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to put up with it. Yeah. This is Brookfoot Lock on the Cauldron Hebel Canal. This is the first time we've moved the boat in over two weeks. And just started the engine for the first time in over two weeks. This is a lovely old lock keeper's cottage. We'd make a great house for somebody, I'm sure. But just look on the other side here, there's evidence of the history on this canal when the river was more navigable than it is now. So it's a, an old, Flood luck. Obviously, it hasn't been opened in quite some time. But the River Calder is on the other side, quite high up at the moment with all the rain we've had the last few days or so. And it really is good to get back on board again and cruising. It's a beautiful part of the world. Lots of the leaves are still on the trees compared to what it was like in Scotland. Yeah, feels good. Every time Fran closes one gate, the other one swings open, so she's having to do double the effort. She did say she wants to do some exercise though. 
just swung open again as she dropped the paddle down. So you've remembered how to drive the boat then? Yeah, it feels really strange over two weeks. <laughs> Uh, it's a lovely time of year to cruise. As you can see, the colours are fantastic. There's nobody about. It's not even very cold today. But the one thing is that the ground and the towpath and the lock sides are so slippery. Um, you have to be so careful. In a way, it's probably the most dangerous time. These stones are just covered with moss and algae and it's a death trap and you can't see how slippery they are um, you do have these ridges to help you get a grip with your footing but they don't go right up to lock side so when the gate is open here you've got nowhere to put your foot and it's so slippery i found that wherever possible i've been walking on the grass rather than walking on the steps and it's taking probably twice as long to do the locks you just have to be so careful at least when it's icy and frozen you can see how dangerous it is but um like this you can't but it's a lovely cruise we're thoroughly enjoying being back what say you this next lock is so close to the road that there's no space for gate beams so they've uh, fitted an electric guillotine gate so I've been up already and set it. This obviously was a horse's tunnel in the past. And hopefully the gate will be raised now. All done electronically. Oh, it's just going up now. I was a bit previous beckoning you forward. <laughs> I was expecting you to get wedged underneath that then. I have to keep my finger on the button to close it. If I let go, it stops. So slow. Blimey. Oh, I've got the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> the GoPro I'm filming with. That bit of one. <laughs> Let's go for a walk.
So we're back from honeymoon. And wedding. Uh, we had a fab wedding day, didn't we? It was a really, really lovely, relaxed, informal, brilliant day. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Close friends and family. Thank you all for coming. It was a, well, it was a great day. It was just a great day. Yes. Yeah. And the honeymoon was fantastic. We had a week up in, right on the west coast of Scotland on a, a peninsula called Ardna Merck. And I have to say that because <laughs> Rich can't say <laughs> it. I don't know what it is. Where mental did we go? Ardna Merck. Oh, okay. yeah, see, I got it there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a place, that's part of Scotland I've never been to. I've been, I've travelled quite extensively around Scotland in the past. Um, but this West Highland area of, of Scotland is absolutely stunning, isn't it? It is it amazing, is. amazing. The weather was really kind to us. We had cold, frosty weather, but sunny most of the time. The mountains had snow on them and the locks were crystal clear. Some time on the beach with the doggies. Yeah, that's fab. Um, I just yeah. we just enjoyed it so much. We didn't want to come back, did we? We no. could have easily spent another week up there and moved on from, to somewhere else. But What a lovely thing to come back to. It's so nice coming back yeah. to a cosy boat. Although we got back quite late at night and it was freezing, it was freezing. cold. We'd been empty for a week. but um, two, Virtually two weeks because we'd been, yeah. been back to the cottage, hadn't we? And uh, it was great, great to be back, really is. And um, the fun stops here. <laughs> <laughs> the locks on this canal are very short. I think the maximum you can get a boat through is 57, 58 feet. And unusually they have the paddle mechanism on the lock side rather than on the canal side, if you get my drift, which means that they have to put a platform hanging over the lock and as you can see there's been one or two longer boats that have come up and crunched the back end of the boat either their tiller or the uh, rear of the boat against that platform and uh, the other week we went through one didn't we and the water just forced you back and you got into a right tizz about it didn't you me really nervous because if the boat gets pushed back as it did on that particular day and this uh, the tiller arm is caught underneath the ledge it's not good <laughs> and I did have a panic didn't I on one particular moment but so we just take our time getting through these no rush and uh, I haven't even opened the gate paddles on this one I've just done the ground sluices and uh, yeah, it just seems to be enough, doesn't it? That should be a tea room. And that Fran reckons should be a tea room. Or somebody's house, preferably, I would thought. It'd be a great house, wouldn't it? Thank you all so much for your kind wishes, uh, your messages, and your presence as well. Yes. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been great. Yes. So, where to next? Wait and find out. Ha, 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 ha.